says don't turn us to the left. They've got a very nice theatre along there, the uh, Inverness Theatre is very pretty. Aldi Supermarket. Yeah. They've got one or two Costco's in Scotland, but not many. It's great, I suppose, if you like to buy in bulk, you know, Costco's the same in the States. Everything's bulk, you know. I mean, you get uh, 100 toilet rolls for three dollars or something. I mean, it's great, but if you've only got a small flat, where do you put it? You know? Nice little stone houses here. I love them, as you can see, are used as bed and breakfasts and uh, chambre d'hôte, that kind of thing. It used to be a lot cheaper to do that. They're still cheaper than hotels, but uh, they've started to lift their prices a little bit. They, uh, Alexandra's classic canines. Nice. Touch of Poland on the left there. Yeah. In and alcohol. You can recognize the alcohol. There's a lollipop man. Look, you see? Yeah, a lollipop man, lollipop idiots. Yes, there's no, uh, it's uh, gender fluid that job. Drachet, that's a great name, isn't it? Drum and the Drachet. That's at the bottom end of the, the dog leg of the of the uh, uh, the loch. The loch itself is 24 miles long, depth of between 700, 700, 800 feet. It's deep, for sure. You think of the Lake District in England, which most people know about there. It's only a glacial, you know. Oh, you cheeky person. It's a. Uh, it's uh, they're only the glacial, they're like ribbon lakes, you know. This, this is uh, movement, earth movement as well, you know, which uh, makes a big difference. Uh, you know, when we go to Loch Lomond, it's 600 feet, so it's still substantial. Loch Lomond has to be 800 feet to house the house the monster, of course. And I say, yeah, uh, all the caverns underneath, so she gets peace. Uh, it's not the, in uh, up by uh, Glenfinnan, uh, where Bonnie Prince Charlie took off from, is Loch Mora. Loch Mora is the uh, deepest and it's 1100 feet, I mean good grief, you know, so if you imagine 1100 feet above you, I mean, you, you know, get the imagination of the lightning up of it folks, good. We're coming to the top of 22 the miles of, of the locks and canal, here's the locks here, you see, right left, took 19 years but then they realised they hadn't dug it deep enough. So they dug it again and it opened again finally in 1847 or so, a little bit longer. Right. Anyway. So this is the, where the River Ness is coming up, you see, it splits, there's an island to our left and boats go up one side and down the other, there's a waterway to our right as well here. Look at all the rhododendrons here, still in force. So we haven't hit the loch yet. But this is the widest part across here. The widest part is only one mile.
Okay folks, uh, this guy's going to let us out, that's very nice of him. Thank you very much. Oh, what a grim day on Loch Ness, but that's, you know, it is what it is. It's different. There's a ripple in the water there. Oh! Look, look, look at that, my goodness! Ah! 